everybody to my shop. Mike Brelsford, Brelsford Woodworks here. Hey, I just recently picked up one of the uh, Harbor Freight uh, pressure pots for paint spraying that uh, I'm going to convert over for use for resin casting. Um, I've seen a few guys do this, watch their videos, but I figured, uh, what the heck, uh, the more the merrier. And so I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. As it comes, you get the hook that goes in the middle for hanging it. Uh, you have an outlet here that where it would go to your spray gun. You have your regulator. You have your pop-off valve. Uh, air would come in here, leave here, and go to the gun as well as the, the paint uh, output. Uh, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to take this apart. Um, we're going to take off the pop-off valve and this uh, um, 90 here and we're going to install the pop-off valve over here and um, then we are going to put the regulator on this side cap off the out air outlet and install a ball valve and a um, male coupler for the air compressor over here so let's get going on that I will tell you, I previously loosened this all up. So you need a 3 8 by quarter inch adapter. Also, make sure you take uh, put Teflon tape on all of your male threads. Oh, one other thing I forgot. So on the inside we have this aluminum t pick siphon tube that needs to come off first. Again, pre -lucent. Now let's take the pop-off valve off of here. Put some tape on it Now we gotta take the regulator off. And we need to take off this um, 90 here. Teflon tape on your male threads, which I'll put on all of the ends of the regulator. So one of the things I'm going to be doing here in the near future on, uh, on a video is my son Matthew he's got a, a channel he's a car guy and he's been restoring a 74 MGB 70 uh, and um, we are gonna do a collaborative video on that and you might go what in the heck is a woodworker gonna do as a collaboration with a car guy but uh, I'm not gonna tell you until, you until I make the video uh, and show it it's going to uh, but it is going to take me to do some resin casting, and that's one of the reasons for getting this here. Okay, what I can do, I got a cap for the air outlet. We'll put that on there. Put the regulator on. 
That'll get it. Now, last couple things I need to do is I got a ball valve here. I got a 3 8, so I had to buy a couple uh, 3 8 to quarter inch adapters, which I will put in here, and pretty much almost done. So in case you're wondering, I am not a plumber. I'm actually an electrician. And I try to not touch plumbing, if I can all avoid it. I know just enough about it to be dangerous. Thankfully, I know enough people who know a lot about it get me out of trouble. Yeah, I would have done it the way the other gentleman had it, but I don't have enough parts. And I don't feel like going back to Lowe's again today. Lowe's is insane right now. People just lost their mind with all this going on in the world. And they spend all their time at Lowe's. I try to go early in the morning and get out as fast as I can. All right, so as we see in the electrical trade, let's give this the go or blow. I may be forced to go and eventually get that and repipe this so that that's standing straight up, but for now, this will do. So right now, that's got, I wish I could see, uh, 
It's got about 50 PSI on it right there, which is about where I would probably use it. And seems to be holding. Let's let it sit for a while, and I think I got this. I'll come back to you when I have my uh, my resin casting ready to go to uh, for my project with my son. Thank you all for watching. I know this was a short one today, but please click like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Tell me what you think, and thank you for watching.